Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today's International Sandwich Sunday. We're headed over to Sweden for some smorgas caviar. Now, I don't know if that's the exact pronunciation. I don't even know if that's the exact name of the sandwich. Um, it's an open face sandwich. It was recommended to me by Zeal over on YouTube. And, uh, Sounds interesting. I'm gonna be using a Swedish rye crisp bread that I picked up, uh, these are from Sweden. So I've seen a number of pictures of these kinds of sandwiches and I'm just gonna do the basic one. Um, I'm probably gonna do it wrong in Sweden. You can yell at me all you want because I need to learn. It's good to learn. Constructive criticism is a gift. Now we're gonna put on some kales, which is a creamed smoked fish roe. Um, supposedly a little bit sweet. And we top that with a little fresh dill. Okay, let's give this smorgas caviar a go. That's pretty good. The creamed fish roe is bringing a little bit of saltiness and a little bit of sweetness. And it's playing off the richness of the eggs and you've got this bright punch of the dill. And I do like a good rye crisp bread. I do want to plus it up and I want to try two different things. On one, a little black pepper. On the other, a little white pepper. Okay, let's give this smorgas caviar uh, with white pepper, which is a little more floral, a little less heat, a go. Still has a pepper flavor to it, but it's a lot lighter, a lot more delicate, and actually goes really well with the eggs and with the uh, creamed fish roe. Okay, let's give the uh, smorgas caviar plussed up with a little black pepper a go. A very different pepper experience, but very good. Goes well with everything in here. It's just a little bit uh, more of a sharp pepper flavor. So here's the deal. Smorgas caviar, smorgas is sandwich, caviar is spread. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not the name of this. Uh, there's probably an actual name for this sandwich and I apologize. I couldn't figure out what it was in time. But I will say that the original was quite tasty. Uh, the, the rye crisp bread, nice, light, crunchy. A little bit of rye flavor, not a lot. It's not overpowering at all. Uh, the hard boiled eggs and then the creamed roe with a little salt, a little sweet. It was just really tasty and especially with that little punch of dill in there. Um, I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give that a seven and a half. Plus up with the black pepper, Eight, and plus up with the white pepper, I think I prefer that. I think that's an eight and a half. I know, and I'm a black pepper fiend, as you well know. But tasty any way you try it. Uh, definitely happy to uh, make another one of these because I've already finished them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'd eat this anytime. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.